I'm Rich. I'm Othello. I'm Aaron, and this is my buddy John. And by our fandoms combined, we are Fandom United. So, uh, first of all, you know, we miss you, Jelly. And uh, John's here. My kids are going to be asking me, like, you know, what, what, where's Jelly? Is Jelly still, Jelly's still in the show? He's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like in the Fantastic Four when the thing lost his rocks. <laughs> and he, needed a, he needed to get a substitute. So, John's She Hulk. He's the. He's, he's, oh, he's, 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 he's She-Hulk. That's very right. We should have had to wear him the green cape. See? You could have been... Could have been her even. No, could have been She-Hulk. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> so the first thing that we wanted to talk about tonight is uh, San Diego Comic-Con is starting tomorrow. Well, by the time you guys watched this, it would have started yesterday. So there's going to be lots of stuff we're going to be talking about next week. Lots of new shows. Lots of new uh, news. Lots of new toys. Anything in particular? Anybody... Looking forward to anything out of SDC? Man, people are going nuts about... Um, it, it's funny. Just being here in the Toy Store, we get people come in. Like I've been talking to people last week and a half. Like, okay, do you have your stuff mapped out? And people like are strategizing. Like, okay, well, I'm looking for this. If, if I see this... you Because know, there's stuff that's, that releases online, but there's also stuff that will release in stores, um, like exclusives mm-hmm. that they'll have, like shared uh, exclusives. So like people are like... Well, my friend's going here, and they're going to buy this for me and them. And, you know, everybody's yeah. got a list. And Like like the Funko Pops. Yeah, Funko yeah. Pops is, is a big one. Um, yeah, it's just, it's crazy, this stuff. And I, I'm sure if you're watching this and you're a, a toy collector at all, you've already got your list, and you know exactly what we're talking about. But we are going to talk about some stuff probably next week that, that came out um, from, from the convention. Is it kind of like Black Friday? Like they yes. rush in to get <laughs> yeah, there? Yeah, but there's no sales. Right, no, no. You're, you're paying more than yeah, you're, you're paying right. like way high prices. Yeah, but um, the the difference it, it's the same kind of madness that Black Friday is. Yes. But you know, if it's stuff that you're you're buying online, literally stuff selling out in minutes. Um, I mean, the Funko's like really bad. I mean, Funko has a deal every week where they have stuff that pops up on their website that like, hey, this is going live at one o'clock. So you like get on their their website and you're like refresh, refresh, refresh. And then finally, it'll it'll pop up, and you put it in your cart and try to check out as quick as you can because if you take too long, it's it sells gone. out in two minutes, right. and then it's like, sorry, we're already out of inventory, and yeah, that's just that's frustrating, like nothing else. So don't especially have if you get it in your cart. There, there's there's an, an <laughs> issue that happens quite a bit where um, they'll randomly give you a message, you know, prove that you're not a robot. Pick the picture oh, that, oh, yeah. really? and yeah. the pictures don't load quick because everybody's so, hitting the site. Everybody, yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> the, their, their site crashes all the time. <laughs> so if you get that, you know your host. Like I didn't get it. It, it. By the time that I'm done with this, I'm not gonna be able to check out. They're 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 gonna be sold out, even though I have one in my cart. That's like those annoying yeah. alarms that you have to solve a math problem first thing in the morning before the alarm shuts off. <laughs> I would why never would get anything. That? Yeah, why yeah. would you do why that to you make that you get you? up? And it's just like now you're just. Now you were there, you were already awake, and now you're pissed off. Because <laughs> start your day wrong. Yeah, just somebody, start your day wrong. Somebody got me as a gift one time. It was one of those alarm clocks that is a robot that moves away. When I was like, "Do you honestly think I'm going to even open this? This is just self torture. Why would you?" That give was your this to that was your first wife, right? That was <laughs> before the divorce. Is that, what yeah, it was? that was that was the last straw. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Like you know what? This is just hatred. It's just <laughs> so. What are you looking forward to from SDCC? Um, I probably am most into the news that's going to be coming out of SDCC. Uh, I actually heard somewhere that uh, they're going to announce the Marvel Phase 4 uh, list on SDCC. So I'm excited because they they said that uh, Hall H was going to be pretty barren this year. There was like nothing was going to be in there. People who who normally like. That that's where they camp out, and there's like, nope, there's, there's nothing going on this year. Uh, I heard that they actually canceled Hall H. I'm like, how do they cancel they Hall H? That's Hall like H. where all the major announcements were lit, but like nobody had reserved spots. Yeah. And then Marvel's like, you know what? Nobody's going in. We're gonna do it, <laughs> and that's why we're getting well, it. Thought. It's amazing that they did it like last minute. Like, it yeah, was very last we're minute. Marvel well, because this is what we can do. Marvel, I thought earlier, said that they weren't, weren't. gonna do it. There's yeah, yeah, Warner yeah, Brothers said they're not gonna do anything. The Game of Thrones creators backed out, and a few of those uh, people that were supposed to be a big Game of Thrones panel there, they a few of those people backed out. They're still having it, just a smaller audience of uh, cast members. So yeah, then Hall H is barren, and somebody probably called up Marvel and like, hey. Please help we us. We need you. Yeah. <laughs> and so Marvel's like, 
we'll we'll drop some sugar on you, and we'll we'll bring a we'll bring a PowerPoint slide and it'll set the world on fire. That's really all you need. Just yeah. one guy. Because all it is is a PowerPoint slide, slide and yeah. you know it's gonna be they're gonna pretend to tell you that hey, put your phones away, don't take pictures. Wink, wink. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, as soon as as soon as the presentation is over, you'll see that picture online. You know what though? Let this be where they leaked that footage that uh, Feige has said that it exists somewhere of Michael Pena recapping. Oh my God! The years. That, that would be. Oh, I would love the that. fact that he said that it really exists because people have been saying that. I I've I been saying it for a couple of years. I'm like, oh, they need to release this, and then when the tenure was coming up, I'm like, oh, that would be like a perfect time mm-hmm. to do it. Yeah, come on, Marvel, do it, do it. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. uh, apparently somebody had said something. And Kevin Feige's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure we have that somewhere. Oh, man. I so, always assumed that was going to be like an extra that they would throw on the DVD. Put it out. Put it you out. Know, I'm not saying do like a one shot. You know, those were great. I I'm not saying them. do anything illegal, but people find out stuff on other computer systems all the time. No, they do that stuff on purpose. Just they know it's going to happen. It's like when the Deadpool footage yeah. leaked. <laughs> right. You know, it's like, come on, everybody saw that it came from Ryan, you know, dot Reynolds at gmail.com. Like, stop playing. Everybody knew that was Van City that sent that out. It's like it wasn't, come on, quit playing. Everybody knew. It wasn't a secret. <laughs> So, John, is there anything that you're looking forward to? I'm looking forward to actually anything Stephen King right now. It mm-hmm. Chapter 2, and apparently the uh, the next movie that had to do with The Shining, that's supposed to come out. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Shining so, is a sequel, right? The sequel to The it's Shining. It's not a prequel. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, Sleep. Dr. Sleep. I am looking forward to it. It's Ewan McGregor, right? Yep. I hmm. And I always, it? I've always been scared of movies, scary movies, ever since I was a little <laughs> so, kid. So I can't as wait to adult, go be scared again. As an adult, the last couple of years, something kicked in. <laughs> okay, now, uh, on that, though, that surprises me that they're doing that and not going back and redoing The Shining. Being that Stephen King hated, didn't hated like it. either movie... Yeah. Um, that they did. I, I'm really surprised that. What about the made for TV one that they did? I don't think he liked I don't that one. He didn't like that either. Like that either but, but he a, really hated it. But apparently, uh, he signed off on it, and they were actually able to uh, recreate some of the scenes on the flashpoints, hmm. uh, on the flashbacks for this. So, huh. Yeah. Hmm. I don't. I. But wasn't the the made for TV movie was really close to the books, from what I understood, right? I, I remember. I, I vaguely it remember it. Yeah, I, I didn't I watch it. I'm like, eh. You know what? For me, Stephen King, just a little off topic, but his his non horror stuff is better to me than his horror stuff. I agree. The his non horror stuff is Stand like by me. way better. Yeah. Stand the by me, uh, Green Mile, Shawshank Redemption. Oh, Shawshank yeah. Redemption. I mean, amazing. all of his non horror stuff usually tends to be super super good. Like, wow, that movie really affected me. His horror stuff, I'm just kind of like, eh. It's a car. Just stay off the street. I mean, it's it's Christine. You know, it's like you know Carrie. It's like, well, somebody just be nice to the girl. I mean, look, you know, wasn't you already know she's unhinged, and so you're gonna mess with her and put pig's blood on her. No wonder she kills everybody. Like, come on. And wasn't uh, is it Dark Tower? Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. Yes. So all of the horror films are connected to that. Is that what I'm understanding? Um, that I believe all, all of the of films. Movies. Yeah, it's a whole. All of his books mm-hmm. are connected. And it's a shared universe, and the Dark Tower series is the basically it's like the basement. It's the foundation of all of his books. Okay, which is really cool because one of his books, one of my favorite books I've ever read by him, is called Eleven Twenty Two Sixty Three. It's about a guy who discovers a portal back to nineteen sixty three, where he I or watched sixty two. I watched the show. I didn't read the book. He, he, it's he, where he's going to stop the assassination of JFK. But the beautiful, the beautiful thing about it is there's one part in the book where he goes through this little town and he meets these two kids and everybody's kind of wary of him and everything else. Well, it turns out it's a town from it and the two kids are two of the kids from the first book, first, uh, first chapter or whatever, if, if you're looking at the movies of it. So they're like, everybody's kind of wary around strangers now because a lot of kids came up missing last summer, mm-hmm. you know, and oh, Mr. Hey, you don't want to go down there in the sewers. Don't, don't, don't go over there huh. kind of thing. Or he's at a hotel with this lady at one point, and there's this red Plymouth Fury sitting outside. It's it's obviously by the description Christine, uh-huh. and he said it's Christine who's sitting outside of this hotel that they're at. So he puts little Easter eggs now in his books that tie to the other books because now that he's established the Dark Tower as the the underlying theme, you can actually read that series and see some scenes in those books, and then go back to those books and read those scenes and be like, oh, holy crap. 
This is kind of where it's connected. So it's genius. It's brilliant anyway, though. Brilliant the way yeah. he did it, yeah. but, you know. The Dark Tower movie sucked. Just putting that out there. But. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the books are a long read, but they're, you know, I got to be in a mood to read them. But they're, they're great. They're great books. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, for me, I think what I'm looking forward to from SDCC, just like you got, I think is the news. Mm-hmm. What movies are coming out, what shows are coming out, some of the new comic book news I'm really looking forward to. And I'm also, like, so I'm really interested in why so many people didn't go to Hall H this year and didn't go to Comic Con. I this understand year. why really Warner Brothers why. didn't. <laughs> Come on. They've had some, they had Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Shazam back to back to back. Great movies. Wonder Woman 84 is going to make a lot of money. And Shazam 2 and 3 and Black Adam, however many of those are going to do. You got um, Joker, you got Birds of Prey. I actually think the Joker movie is probably going to be good. I think I, it's I, I'm, I think I'm excited about it. I don't know why. I never thought but it, it would looks be. good. Yeah, I'm like, I'm looking forward to that. That trailer that trailer helped a lot. Oh, yeah. Which is crazy because I'm like, I don't want to see Joker without Batman. But I saw that trailer and I was like, I'll watch that movie. They did say that it's not going to be anything like the Joker. That It's a completely different and that's, story that's than you're not what I'm expecting. expecting. They say it's supposed I, to be I like, I, I kind of like the, the Elseworlds feel of it. Okay. Because DC has always been known for their Else, Elseworlds books. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, you know, what if this happened? What if, you know, you know what if uh, what if Bruce and Martha were killed? What would Thomas Wayne do kind of thing in these Elseworlds situations? And that's what that movie seems like to me. Okay. I can agree with that. So the uh, next thing we want to mention briefly is that there was a satirical Facebook page that said, hey, let's go see them aliens. And so I think it's September 9th. They're planning a raid. They're trying to, I think so many, so far about a million people have signed up, a million plus have signed up to go down to New Mexico to raid Area 51 because their thinking is they only have so many bullets. Surely they couldn't shoot us all. Let's go see what they're hiding in Area that's, that's 51. That's a solid strategy. I mean... See, but a wall of people yeah. is easy to target. <laughs> yeah, people... I mean, surely people know that this is a joke. If you don't know that this is a joke and you're... No, there's some people that, uh, hey, that are doing it serious. If you're going to show up and you think, oh, they can't shoot us all, there are these things called drones. And there's this neat thing the Air Force likes to do called carpet bombing. Right. They can get everybody in one shot and not miss lunch. Yep. Iron Man I'm just one. saying. Iron Man one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Stark just <laughs> standing here, just obliterate the entire mountain. So hey, if you do go though, let me know. I'd like to hitch a ride because I want to film it. I do. I I do want to see it. I want to. I want to see it. I want to see, see you guys do it. I'm I'm rooting for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't going with you. We've been needing to thin the herd anyway. It'll be a it's hell of a show. show. <laughs> yeah. Can't do it. The only black person I've seen in Area 51 is Will Smith from Independence Day. I'm staying out of it. And that was a soundstage. Yeah, I don't even think, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't, mm-mm. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't go down there to, no. See, no. what do you, I mean, what do you honestly think they even, I, you think that's just their test facility for their new it's, weapon prototypes? It, or At this point, I think there's so much so much of a spotlight on there that anything they're doing is moved somewhere else so, at this point. In, in reality, it's probably just a uh, base, a top secret base where they test experimental aircraft. Yeah. Right. Nope. But no, nope. I think if you think the moon landing is fake, it's probably where they keep the sets they used to film the moon landing for Get the people warm. that think the moon landing is fake or I don't know. All right, Rich. What, I want to hear what, your conspiracy yeah, Rich, theory. I'm waiting. I don't know if this is this is the format that we want to do this in, but I can tell you, if you go back and look up Jack Parsons in the um, uh, uh experiment, um, or the Amelantro happening, um, it it was uh, th- there was some stuff that was happening in the desert of New Mexico with the guy who later went on to create jet propulsion laboratories, which later became NASA. Um, and a year later we had the Roswell incident. So go back and do the research on that. Cause otherwise you'll be, you know, fit me for, we'll probably a need to have a conspiracy <laughs> episode just for real. Aluminum hats. You know, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll all have wear to, it. We we'll won't make be, our own aluminum. We hats won't be getting any one. from New Mexico because in September you won't be able to find any aluminum within the entire state 
If New Mexico <laughs> had those hats that they got to make down there to keep them from probing your brains to know when you're going to start the raid. So stock up on your aluminum. And uh, remember... If you guys were willing to go down that road, I would be more than happy. Oh, there was even a news trust story. Trust me, I've spent a lot of time researching this There stuff. was a legit news story that there was a guy... Uh, news was covering this guy. He said, if we practice the Naruto run, oh, we'll be really it. fast. <laughs> this, and, and we'll be streamlined, and they won't be able to get us all. People You're, are awesome. You'll be the first to die, Jerry. So, yeah. Yeah. And then it's I saw a post run. where... A, Goldberg run. By yeah. one, of the, one of the biggest golden nuggets from that is that a, someone had to explain to a general with a straight face what the Naruto run is. <laughs> yes. He's like, what? He's like, hey, just, just What's a Naruto it. run? Just watch it. Look how fast yeah, they are, sir. Yeah, I'm it, telling it, you. This it, is... It's like, it's when they run and they go like this. But now, and... and um, not to belabor the point, but the Air Force has put out a statement and like, we will shoot you if you try to get in. <laughs> yeah. These guys, it's like Doc Holliday, if anybody's ever seen Tombstone, they're like, you're Daisy if you do. So, <laughs> <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I, I have a good friend that, that went exploring, um, and made it pretty close. Well, he, he's assuming that he was close because he was met by some MPs. He wasn't close. And, um, right. <laughs> he was probably a mile out. <laughs> I, and, and yeah. I think that's close when you're, when you're talking that's pretty that. Close. I mean, because yeah. I don't think that you, you don't get up yeah, to the no. fence. He was, he was close to just, he was close to bullet time. Yeah. Like, before they uh, even talked to said you. Said that, uh, that he felt something poke him in the back and turn around. There's a uh, MP standing there with a M16. And he just looked at him. He's like, is that real? And guys, like you, really want to find out? Like, nope. <laughs> Do I get a ride back? And yeah. so, hopped in his jeep and he took him back to to where he's parked and said, "Don't let me catch you out here hey, again." So, don't don't get it twisted. Air Force ain't no punks. They don't want you out there. Go out there if you want it's to. Not what you think? Yeah. You, you, yeah. Don't 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 get it twisted. Air Force ain't. They don't play around. See, I would test with the drone first. See how far I could get that drone before they shot it down. That would be Drones would have worked ten years ago. Yeah, right. And and you wouldn't because they probably either jam the signal or, or they're going to hit a strike on you, right? Because they're going to see where the signal is coming from. Like, where's he transmitting from? Get him. You're never going to see the drone, and then they're going to just take your drone. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're going to lose your drone and your life. It's not going to work. It's not going to be a good time. I figured they'd do some kind of like EMP, just kill it, and crash it. Mm. They wouldn't even have to shoot it down, really. I, well, aren't we getting fancy EMPs now? They just use their laser guns. Yeah, you know? it's it's Area Fifty One. You're telling me they don't have like EMP guns? If they've got laser guns, they just don't. That's probably where they keep the stockpile of Twinkies and Captain Crunch for the apocalypse. <laughs> That's what it really is. So the other thing that we wanted to talk about briefly in the time that we have left, because <laughs> we didn't know we we're going to be talking about Area Fifty One so long. Who would we, have thought that that would have come up this week anyway? Th- yeah, I'm like, really? And then so many people got on board. That's what amazed me. And, like, famous people will sign up. Now, I know they're joking. Yeah. Like, Guy Fieri said he's going to go down and make radioactive ribs to feed the Raiders. And, <laughs> but, like, uh, Danny Trejo Machete has, has signed up to, to run with the John Raiders. John Cena, I saw. Yeah. Uh, they well, he, he can just, you know, do that. That's right? what you can't can see. They won't see him. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean... It's like any Facebook event. Thousands and thousands of people are going to say they're going to be there, but it's going to end up being like 10 people. It really I is. I really hope more of you show up than that. <laughs> I really, okay. really, really hope. There will be people show up. up. It will there be a will crowd. Be it won't be... It won't be half a million or a it million. It won't be even close to it, but I, I think it'll be staggering how many people actually do go down there. And they're all going to be... It's going to be almost like a, a, a rave... <laughs> Everyone's gonna I be think in it'll there, turn like, into a big glowing party. dark underwear. Yeah, I think it'll turn into like, like I think it's like just it'll be like um, Burning Man or something. Yeah, that's it'll what turn I, into a big party. That's what I picture it'll end up being. It should have been like what the Fry Festival actually was. They're like, yeah. we're all here. We're not actually gonna do it, but let's party, guys. Yeah, <laughs> like whoa, dude, bullets are real. <laughs> you know, so yeah. After they see the first happens. five get shot, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, this wasn't a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Air Force ain't having it. So I would love to see it. Um, so please go if you signed up. Please go and get your friends and to go. Film it, please film it. Please. I want to see it. 
Antifa, please show up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, anybody <laughs> on the far left or the far that. right, all of you guys? I don't need them showing up here. Hey, just go. <laughs> yeah. Just go. Antifa meeting in Roswell, New Mexico. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, and while you're there, stop by and get the neo-Nazis to follow you, too. So then that way you get the guys from the far right and the put far the, left. And you guys should just go out there and find out the, the truths for yourself. Yeah, <laughs> just maybe we can thin the herd a little bit, maybe get some peace finally around here. Um, the other thing that we wanted to talk about briefly is, by now, many of you should have seen Spider-Man Far From Home. And that end credit scene oh. that showed, see, John seen it. Delicious. Nick Fury being on a starship crewed by Skrulls mm-hmm. and kind of like a outer space shield, which from the comic books we know is called S.W.O.R.D. So, what we wanted to talk about briefly is what we think that means for, well, Marvel's announcements this weekend. Yeah. So, what do you think, Aaron, is going to be, uh, what do you think is going to come out of that? Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of films that take place on planets or out in the galaxy. I think they're going to kind of start moving away from Earth. More cosmic? Yeah, I think they're going to do a lot more cosmic. Uh and judging by the ship and how many scrolls, I think that Nick Fury's been working on that project for quite a while. I feel like he's probably been off Earth for longer than you would expect. So what what Aaron's kind of alluding to is that in the in the film, obviously, um, and sorry I didn't say spoilers before we started talking about it. Um, it's been two weeks. If you haven't seen Spider Man yeah, yet, like, yeah, it's, it's your fault. Yes, yeah, you know why are you watching the Geek Show? Stop it. Um, <laughs> That Nick Fury was revealed to be the Skrull Telos. Now, as we know, there was what? Uh, Captain Marvel took place in 93? That definitely right. 90-ish. So 90-ish. So 20-some odd years, it, Nick Fury has been aware of shape-changing aliens. Mm-hmm. So I wonder how long they've actually been working for Nick. And well, that was the what question other that... characters we might have seen in other movies <clears throat> that we thought were somebody, but... They're going to kind of retcon and say, actually, haha, that was a scroll. One of the one of the questions that I started throwing out to customers coming in because people come in the shop and always want to talk about the latest, you know, superhero movie or whatever. And so people who've seen it, I'm like, okay, so how? When was the last time that we saw real Nick Fury in the movie? When when did he check out? And it's it's fun to hear the different answers. You know, I've I've obviously got the the spot that I've landed on. I got my spot. Um, uh, well, but, you know what. Let's 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 talk about that. Hold on, John. What do you think is the last time Nick Fury was around? I think he was Nick Fury actual, not not tell us. I think he was blipped because remember he had Captain Marvel's pager. Okay, so you think that that was real Nick Fury that got uh, snapped, and real Nick Fury that came back, mm-hmm. and then that maybe the switch happened sometime after that. I don't okay. think Nick Fury was at the funeral though. Oh, yeah. at Tony's funeral. Tony's funeral. Okay, I don't think he was there. All right. What's your spot? Where do you think he comes from? I I feel like he's been gone longer than that. I th- feel like it was after Civil War. That's my spot. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I, the last time we saw him was in, at in the his grave. grave in his own grave. grave. He had yeah. to disappear anyways. Mm-hmm. So and he asked Cap to go with him. Like, hey, I'm starting something new. Yeah. Why don't you come with me? It, and even if they or didn't plan it, if Feige it. didn't have that like Ooh. as something that he was planning on doing, they could retcon to oh, that spot. Easy. Probably the easiest. Real thing. easy. Or possibly uh, the first time we've seen the Squirrel Nick Fury was Age of Ultron. And Boys I went there too. Yeah. But I did going back and just playing through it all, I did. I'm still at Civil War for me, but... I like that spot I, for it, yeah. I, yeah, makes the I, most I can sense go with me. Ultron also, though. It yeah. makes the most sense I've heard a lot of good arguments in here, War. but... Um, oh, man. It's, it's fun. It's I fun feel... Think, you know? I think the one who got blipped was... Uh, Talos. The squirrel, was Talos, yeah. Because um, I think that's why he didn't want to hit the pager, because he's like, ah, oh, crap, I gotta call him back and tell him I can't cut it, I screwed up. Because when I page Captain Marvel, she's gonna know... She's going to, you know, talk to Nick or whatever and be like, tell us, screwed it up. He needs some help. <laughs> and that's why he was kind of hesitant to, you know, hit the pager is what I might be remembering it wrong. But he what if she got blipped but... too? What if, I mean, what if she wouldn't have been there to get the get the message? <laughs> Just like, oh, yeah, hey. uh, then we're screwed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if what if she turned into space ash on her way up? 
That's okay. what we need to talk about next week. Before we need to talk about what happened to the people when they returned. <laughs> That's what I was going to bring up. But like, we don't have a lot do we of have time. time to bring it we up. We don't have enough no. time to bring it up. We'll have to bring it up next week. There's a lot like, of theories. There's a lot of funny theories about that. that. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm with you too. I think it was Civil War. I think that was his final moment. But that kind of plays into what I wanted to do for this week's elevator pitch. <laughs> I think, because they're doing a lot of cosmic, you'll you'll never believe I'm actually going to push for this. I think it'd be really cool if they did Power Pack. God, I can't even believe I said that out loud. I'm now taking mm. applications for mm. new best friends. <laughs> <laughs> but think about it. It falls in line with everything that Disney wants to They're going to show kids, empowered. They, they have this magical space horse that, you know, helps them get their powers and kind of becomes their nanny. Um, you know how you feel about Disney and how they kind of treat parents and kids. Yeah. It's the same thing with Power Pack, right? But then you also get kids. You get Cosmic. Okay. I, I think it's a, it's a shoo-in easy win for Disney to do a movie. For, and if they kids. get them, if they cast them young enough, they can do two or three movies and have these kids grow and... Like, make a little franchise out of them. I'm not saying I'd want to go see them. Or that I even <laughs> like Power Pack. But what, that's so like, you're pitching it. to Sonic Toys. And... Like, I'm out. <laughs> you kind of lo- you kind of lost me with the magical horse. It was like an alien need... that looks like a horse that... Uh, it's, uh, I, I didn't read Power Pack, so I'm trying to remember what I read on... You like... don't have to deny it now. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I was, um, I was hoping you were going to say, like, the Beyonder is just standing Well, no, I would something. love to see, in the next phase, I would love to see them do Annihilation. Just like Infinity War is a big one for this phase. Mm-hmm. I think if they're going to do Cosmic, Annihilation, because now that they have the Fantastic Four back, they have Annihilus back. Mm-hmm. So now that you have Annihilus back, you can do the story of the Annihilation Wave, and you could have that big interstellar war. You could have the Shi'ar in there, the Kree. Oh. You could have Nova. Ooh. They could just get nutty with it the guardians are in there because the guardians are like one of their big properties you can still keep captain marvel in there um if you want to you know so you got all those those cosmic elements it looks like disney wants to play with mm-hmm. going forward into this new phase yeah and i think the <laughs> annihilation wave would be huge but the elevator pitch was about obscure properties we think would actually do well I'm not saying current. that it wouldn't do well. I'm not saying I want it, but I think it would work. It maybe would. maybe even as a show on like Disney Plus or something, like a live action show, I think it would be really well received. I, I like I Just think about my daughter. <laughs> no, no, but I think my daughter would love it. I think my nine year old would uh, love you it. You know, Lab Rats was, you know, yeah. pretty pretty well I mean they did they did good. They had a couple different versions of that show. Mm-hmm. Fair um, enough, yeah. And what was it, six six seasons that they ran between the two different... Something like that. And then they changed it up or whatever. I, yeah, they had... So, I mean, yeah. I mean, if they did something like that, I mean, and didn't take it too seriously, it could probably do Kids right, dig but... stories of kids with superpowers. You're better yeah. than this, man. I, I'm not saying I want it. I'm just saying kids like stories about kids with superpowers. I can agree that it would be a bankable idea, but I would never go see it. Or... I would never yeah, I don't know it. if it would do well as a movie, but I think it would do well on Disney Plus. It could I do think Disney it would, Plus. I think it would have really serious legs on Disney Plus. You just go I home will and be watch watching. Superhero High and come back and tell me watch Sky who, High or Sky High. That was yeah, it. yeah that's whatever. the joint. No, I'll be I'll be watching The Mandalorian. Thank you very much, because oh. that's where I'll be. But that's it for this week. We'll see you guys next week. Uh, enjoy SDCC, and remember, tell them f you. <laughs>